Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this news edition. Here are the headlines. Departure of uh, the Rwanda uh, president after the attending and uh, the ceremony of inauguration of international of free zone. On international uh, scene, the U.S. Secretary of State in Pyongyang go uh, to uh, Pyongyang to talk about nuclear. There were the headline led to the details. The inauguration of the largest free trade zone of Africa by the President of the Republic, Mr. Ismail Omar Gili, did not go and announced. So uh, the President of uh, Rwanda, uh, Paul Kagame, leaves uh, today uh, early in the morning uh, the uh, country. The, uh, so the, the presidents were accompanied by uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Abdulkadir uh, Kamil uh, Mohammed. He took part yesterday for uh, the big event to uh, inaugurate uh, the, uh, the free zone of uh, Djibouti, uh, the largest one of Africa. So, as I said, the inauguration of the large free uh, trade zone of Africa by the President of the Republic, Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar did, did, did not go and noticed yesterday with the participation of five leaders of the region and the President of the Commissions of the African Union uh, International Free uh, Trade Zone, the largest co uh, commercial area in Africa, required a total investment of 3.5 billion. It will cover an area of 4,080 hectares. This uh, free trade zone already hosting uh, 21 companies will significantly straighten trade in the Horn of Africa while straightening the positions of Djibouti as a commercial and logistics center. The President of the Republic of Djibouti, Mr. Ismail Omar Gili, were surrounded by several leaders such as the President of the Republic of Rwanda, the Republic the, the President of the Republic of uh, Sudan as well as the President of the, uh, of the Federal Republic of Somalia and the Prime Minister of the Federal and Democratic uh, of Ethiopia and the President of the African Union. Uh, also the First Lady of Djibouti, Mrs. Khadra Mohamed Haid, also participated in the inauguration of the new free zone at Beka 23. Yesterday morning, the President of the Authorities of the Poor and Free Zone, Mr. Abu Bakr Omar uh, Hadi, and the representatives of the Chinese company China Martian, as well as the Ambassador of China in Djibouti, took part in this uh, great event. This event was followed by the Africa-China Economic Forum and exhibitions to promote economic collaboration between Africa and China, especially between the private sector of uh, the, the continents. The leader and of the friendly country return have left after that this morning uh, to their uh, continents and uh, participate to uh, that uh, big event. Many and uh, several uh, personality t took part at this uh, great event. The chairman of the Commission of uh, the African Union, uh, Mr. Musa Faki Mohammed, left uh, this uh, morning early evening after participating in the inauguration of the large free zone in Africa. He was accompanied by the ambassador of Djibouti in Ethiopia, uh, Mr. Mohammed Idris Farah. Before leaving the country, the president of the African Commission granted us a brief interview. The chairman of the Commission of the African Union, Musa Faki Mohammed, left yesterday evening after participating in the inauguration of the largest free zone in Africa. In Djibouti, he was accompanied by the ambassador of Djibouti to Ethiopia, Mohammed Idris Farah, the president of the Commission 
of the African Union has to thank for the invitations of this great infrastructure which opens great prospects for Djibouti and for all the African countries which turns toward the market of free trade. The new free zone will transform Djibouti into an economic hub, regional and international trade. It is indeed one of the objectives of the forward planning strategy vision 2035, which our government is working to implement. First of all, I would like to thank this, uh, His Excellency Mamar Gele for inviting me to take part in this uh, event that's involving the African Union Commission. I believe that the inauguration of the Djibouti International Free Zone is an important event, great importance not only for Djibouti but also for the region and for the whole continent. Especially still this event came continental time. We have launched the continental free trade area. We came back, President Gelli and myself, from the Nuaksha Summit, which saw the participation of other African presidents to join the agreement on continental free trade. There are 49 African states out uh, of the 55 uh, that have signed it, and six of them have already ratified. During his interview, the President of the African Commission, Mr. Moussa Faki, held the effort of the President of the Republic to stabilize the region of the Horn of Africa. Absolutely, President uh, Ismail Mergele, first uh, in Somalia, he played an important role. We have uh, Djibouti contingent uh, who are in the framework of uh, EMISOM and uh, who are doing a great job. I would really like to thank him and express his gratitude to the African Union. These sacrifices uh, at the level of Somalia comfort us. Uh, I believe that Somalia come back in peace and this thanks uh, to the African missions of EMISOM. Beyond Somalia, President Gele is known for the role he played at uh, IGAD uh, headquarters here in Djibouti. IGAD is an organization that plays an important role in Somalia, but also in South Sudan. In recent weeks, uh, we have seen positive development, particularly with the Khartoum Declaration. A government de delegation from Djibouti, including Defense Minister Mr. Ali Hassan Bahadon and Communication Mr. Abdi Yusuf Suwe, travel to Mogadishu to participate in Somali National Day on 1st of July. In addition to the ministerial delegation, the ambassador of Djibouti in Somalia, Mr. Alan Hassan, and General Subagle as well as the uh, Harbi musical troupe participated uh, this that uh, ceremony which took place in the palace uh, and the presence of uh, the pres uh, the Somali president Mr. Mohammed Abdullahi Formajo and the prime minister as well as the main authorities from uh, this country the Djibouti delegations was received by uh, the president of Somalia during the reception the Harbi military troop presented a very fluid, uh, fluid and animated show on that occasion in sign of uh, privileged relation of fraternity the two countries A Somali delegation had participated also in the ceremonies of the 41st anniversary of the Republic in Djibouti. <laughs> Somali President Mohammed Abdullahi Formajo delivers a speech during which he praises the effort of the Djibouti.
president and the support of Djiboutian brother. Uh, the president thanked uh, the delegation of Djibouti for participating in the, the ceremony, adding that Djibouti is the only country that still remains faithful to this uh, Somali brother, which reflects the straightening and the brotherhood between the two countries. The president stressed the importance of uh, continuing the effort to rebuild the country and continue the work with our brother Djibouti, and added that he grade the leadership of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Omar to, de to develop his country and the Djiboutian people, but also his effort and support to Somalia. And I pray to God that he grant him a long life and health, and for the people of Djibouti a peace and sustainable development, he concluded. For his part, the Minister of Defense in charge of the relationship with the Parliament, Mr. Ali Hassan Bahadon, thanked the Somali President for hosting him and his delegation. He welcomed the effort of the Somali President and his government since his accession to power. He said that during his stay, he was uh, pleasantly surprised to find that we, uh, that we could walk in the street of capital who are, which are the secure, secure by the police. I congratulated the government for these great steps towards stability and I pray, pray for God helps you to accomplish these taxes. The Djibouti Social Development Agency has organized yes, had organized yesterday a validation workshop as part of the project Prelude uh, Second, uh, financed by the World Bank in the presence of the President of the Municipality of Bilaus, Mr. Mohammed Omar Ismail, and the General Director of Adidas, Mahdi Mohammed Jama, and Interim uh, Advisor of Social Development, Ruqiya Ahmed Awlad. This workshop examined 25 community projects simulated by the Neighborhood Association as part of uh, the third wave of micro projects. Indeed, the purpose of the community development finding of the pilot program is to uh, re revitalize the associative fabric of the District 7. By this uh, founding, is a question for supporting the activity of the associations and their delays by giving them consistent means so uh, they uh, can achieve their mission, their respective area, namely animation, prevention, awareness, training, and insertions. After signing a convention of the new ferry that will shuttle between Djibouti and the north of the country with the Minister of the Transport, a Japanese, uh, Japanese delegation went to the Jura to discuss with the local authorities. He was accompanied by the Director of Maritime Affairs, Mr. Ali Mire uh, Shehem Dawood. During the meeting with the local authorities in Tajura Prefecture, discussion focused on the best ways to optimize uh, the condition of use for this new ferry. The economic actor and the representatives of the population participated on the side of the prefect, Mr. Abdul Malik Mohammed Benoita. The authorities of the Tatura region thanked the Japanese delegation for the granting of this new uh, ferry, which will improve the movement of people and goods between the capital and the region. On the international scene, UN agrees to 7.3 billion annual peacekeeping budget. For more details, let's follow in this report. United Nations state is targeted on Wednesday on a $70.3 billion annual peacekeeping budget. Diplomats say cutting $600 million from a current cost on a slicing 7.5% of the U.S. bill following calls by President Donald Trump to slash funding. Washington initially proposed a peacekeeping budget of $6.5 $99 billion for the year from July 1, 2017, which will have a reduced its share of the PLA by more than 10% to $1.99 billion. In the earlier hours of Wednesday, the in 193 members of UN PCA committee agreed on $7.3 billion to find terrain peacekeeping missions and logistics support office. The PCA 
is due to be adopted by the UN National Assembly on Friday, diplomats say. The U.S. initial peacekeeping picture proposal was the lowest made of all states on regional block on nearly $1 billion, less than UN chief Antonio Guterres' suggestions. U.S. Secretary of State Mike arrived in Pyongyang for nuclear talks. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in Pyongyang Friday, July 6 to Prize Kim Jong-un for a more detailed commitment to denuclearization following the North Korea leader's historic summit with President Donald Trump. Sunny meeting came in Singapore last month. Trump has been published about hobbies for peace, posting that the trade of nuclear wars is over. But the statement the leader's sign was short on a clear commitment. Kim agreed to the completed denuclearization of the Korea Peninsula, a stock phase favored by Pyongyang that stopped short of a long standing U.S. demand for North Korea to give up its atomic arsenal in a favorable and irreversible way. Here we're coming to the end of this edition. Thank you for watching us. Good night.